Holy, what are you? Ow! Oh, get off me, you little creep. Hold on. Self-scan. Oh. Is it supposed to make that noise? Let's whip up this suit. So exciting. Oh, man, it's tiny. Is that going to fit? Hope it stretches. All right, survivors, welcome back to Subnautica. Pick it up. Well, just a little bit after where we left off in the last episode. What is this thing? <laughs> oh, it's coral. <laughs> All right, yeah, I meant to throw that in the water. I don't want it. We don't want that particular coral. It's not very useful. I didn't realize it got stuck on the uh, on the escape pod. Anyway, yeah, picking up just about where we left off here. I haven't really done much other than made a new uh, made a new floaty storage down there. Put some stuff in it. Put all the eggs in it. In fact, did I get all the eggs? Apparently, we can hatch these eggs eventually, but we're gonna need some kind of a, an alien containment aquarium or some such. Not really sure about that. Just happened to read that in the comments. So keep them coming. Give me some tips if you know what the heck is going on here. Because I certainly don't. Fiber mesh with creep vine samples. Let's make them. I'm not sure what else these creep vine samples are useful for. But let's just get them out of the uh, storage. Because they're pretty big. Fiber mesh looks a lot like the silicone rubber, doesn't it? Uh, I'm sure it's going to be useful for something eventually. I don't know exactly what. But I'm not going to worry about it right now. Ooh, there's the recipe. Okay, yeah, let's uh, let's head outside. We've got to get some food. There is one thing I wanted to play for you. Day four. I guess it's day four. How do I know it's day four? Caution. Continued degradation of the Aurora's drive core may result in a quantum detonation. Continuing to monitor. Yeah, that happened this morning when I was getting ready to record. So I guess it's day four is what it is. And that's what, uh, that was a warning I got. So, seems like the Aurora is going to blow. So, I don't know what that means for us. Nothing good, most likely. All right, let's go get some, uh, we got to get some copper. We want to get copper so we can make a battery to make a scanner. And then we can start scanning things like this in these wrecks. And we can get more blueprints. That's how we get some awesome blueprints. We can scan other things too, like, uh, well, we can scan fauna and flora. So the living creatures and the corals and all that jazz too. You know what we're going to do? We're going to grab some of this because we make bleach with it. So let's get a whole bunch. Whoops. Yeah, that's good. Now, I guess what we're looking for is limestone limestone boulders and we whack at those a little bit with our kniffy and that's how we get certain minerals hello good morning like copper and uh, I guess some other things I'm not sure exactly what until we find one of these boulders and start stabbing it oxygen yeah yeah thanks all right let's go see if we can find one Apparently, they're pretty common down here, though I'm not seeing any. And while we're down here, let's snatch up some fishies for some breakfast, because I haven't eaten yet. And, whoa, you little peeper. Is that a rock we can stab right here? Let's go find out. Looks like limestone. 30 seconds. It's not limestone. Uh, excuse me, where's all the limestone at? So, yeah, I found the limestone, and in fact... There was a, uh, well, there's copper. copper. Grab it. Yeah, there, there wasn't copper in the first one, but I got some, what did I get? I got some kind of mineral. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm leaving. Back off. Ooh. Just punched him right in the lip. Look at all the limestone all of this coral down here. Anyway, I was saying, I was talking to you guys about the limestone, because there was actually, like, a, a marker on it. It said, hey, break this up. And, uh... And I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. I had shut it off for a minute. So there we go. Okay, I was using the wrong attack mode. So you want to left click it. All right, it's all making sense now. And look at all these little rocks. There's tons of them. We don't really need the titanium. What up, dude? I'm just here for the limestone. I, hey, you, that was so rude. Look what he did to my uh, my mask. He cracked my mask. There he goes, I'm running away with my metal. That's my metal, you know. Came from my ship. You darn thief. They're all thieves. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy does it. Oh, I can leap right out of the water just like a fish getting chased. Huh. 
I will stab you. Whoa, look at that mouth. That's a big one. Get out of here. Oh, you had to get a bite in. Chase me all the Oh, I am better wreck. Alright, fine. You win. Let's get out of here. How much copper do we have? Uh, we've got three copper. I'm not sure if that's going to be enough. I'm not afraid of that guy. He's not going to bully me. I'm going to get more copper. I don't care what he, what he does. So I don't know what happens if I die. I guess you just respawn. I don't know if you lose anything. Maybe you lose our, you lose inventory? Okay, there's some more copper. So yeah, there's a load of limestone right here. Like I said, it's supposed to be pretty common in this particular um, biome. They call this the safe shallows biome. Uh-huh. Sure it is. Nothing safe about it. Let's go cook up these boomerangs and eat them before they rot. Uh, lead, copper. Let me maybe get one more copper. Doesn't look like my health is coming back on its own. I thought maybe it would. Gary! Hi, Gary! Is that Gary? Hey, Gary, where you been? I've been looking for you. Gary's a good guy. Let's bring him back to the pod. Cook him up. All right. In we go. Whew. Safe up here. Maybe. And let's eat first before we do anything. And we're not going to, um, we're not going to salt them or cure them. Because we're going to eat them up right now. And if you cure them, they actually make you thirsty when you eat them. And I kind of need the salt for some other things anyway. Um, this guy we can actually turn into water. Yeah. Yeah, you only want to salt them for long-term storage so they don't actually... Oh, like this guy here is rotten. So they don't go bad like that one. I must have been carrying that one around a while. All right, let's eat this one here. And cook peeper. Sounds good. And we're going to drop this one, but I can't drop it inside here. We'll hold on to Gary for a little bit. Okay, I'm going to whip up a titanium ingot. Combine some of that titanium we have. We have so much of it. All right, can we make this battery yet? We need the two acid mushrooms, which I believe is down here. Let's go grab it. It's one of the storage boxes. I think this one. Open it up. And nope, that's one with the eggs. Uh oh, night time's here. Man, it drops fast, doesn't it? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, they're right here. Never mind. Got them. And there's the battery. Let's make up a battery. Is that two mushrooms? Oh, a new blueprint acquired. Power cell. Awesome. And now we're going to make a floating air pump. No. Scanner or flashlight? I think we need to go with the scanner first. Because the scanner is going to allow us to scan things the and get new blueprints. Can be used to synthesize blueprints from mm -hmm. salvage technology and to record alien biological data. That's cool. So we can scan. Oh, don't put it in your face. It's dangerous. Performing self scan. Vital signs normal. Detecting trace amounts of foreign bacteria. You. Continuing to monitor. Bacteria. Probably from getting bit by that stupid fish. So now let's go down here and scan some of the stuff right beneath us. Oh, there it's working! So I guess we're oh, ready to scan! Scan it. Grav sphere fragment. Grav sphere fragment scanned. Overall progress 50%. I guess we gotta get two of those. And then we'll get a new, uh, a new recipe. Oh, here we go! Scan these shrooms. And this will add an entry in our PDA. Tab. Press to view. Databank entry unlocked. Yeah. Oh, look at that. So it adds like an encyclopedia page. <laughs> That's so great. All right. Let's do. Okay. Yep. I'm going to grab a few of those. In fact, so we can make some more batteries. Because as far as I know, this thing's going to run out of battery eventually. And we're going to have to reload it with a new one. Though I don't see where it shows that battery power. Do you guys see that? I sure don't. And now it's super dark and I can't see a darn thing down here. And that's kind of spooky. 
Oh wait, here's something. Can you scan this thing? No. It's just for decoration. Oh, that's too bad. Uh, how about these little fishies? Whole school. Hi guys. Nope. Can't scan them. Scan this thing? No. Oh, I can scan the brain coral. I'm curious about the brain coral because I have some of it. Or I had some and it didn't really seem very useful. Now, let's find out what it's all about. Oh, my foot got in the way. <laughs> you have to hold it on here for a few seconds. There we go. Purple brain coral. Let's get in the bubbles. I'll read about the purple brain coral. A permanent growing colony of microscopic organisms. This coral species has adapted to filter carbon dioxide from the environment using carbon to build the colony and expelling the oxygen from special... I'm not even in the bubbles. Get in the bubbles. Specialized exhaust funnels. Assessment exploitable. Alright, I don't know. It doesn't seem really that useful. Oh, hey, buddy. Grab that guy. Oh, he was... Was he dead? He was just chilling. Maybe they don't move very fast at night or something. Let's grab another one because you can make water out of these guys. Oh, we can scan him. Scan that guy. Oh, come here. I'm glad that the scanner actually doesn't have to restart. When you lose them for a second. Unlike No Man's Sky, which you have to restart the whole dang scan again. Now, what is that? It's like a thruster. It's nothing. Oh, here's another fragment, guys. Grav Sphere Fragment. We got it! Did we get it? I think we got it. What does it mean? Uh, let's see. Blueprints. Oh, here it is. Gravsphere uses artificial gravity to attract light objects. It pulls things in to them. Into it. All right, yeah, I remember making that way back in the alpha days. Let's go up the ladder this time. And let's see if we can make a flashlight. All right, put that down. And how's our inventory looking? Pretty full. Let's whip up some bleach. And some waters. Let's cook Gary before he goes bad on us. Not really very hungry. Mm-hmm. Remember that humans survived this way for millennia. You can too. Oh no, Gary's delicious, ma'am. Have you ever had a Gary fish before? Apparently not. Alright, battery. Oh, that's a power cell. High capacity mobile power source. Uh, well, that requires two batteries. I'm not sure if we can use that in the tools or not. So let's just make up two batteries. And we need silicone rubber as well. But before we do that, let's whip up a flashlight, which is battery and glass. Nice. Okay. Warning. What? Local radiation readings suggest the Aurora's uh -oh. drive core has reached critical state. Ooh. Quantum detonation will occur within two hours. Don't put the light in your eyes. Serving a ten kilometer safety range. What'd you say? Wait. Can you please repeat? I was flashing the flashlight in my eyes. I was distracted. <laughs> Something about this thing's gonna blow. Quantum detonation will occur within two hours. Advise observing at a 10 kilometer safety. 10 kilometers? You know what? It's going to blow. Uh, let's put that down. It's blinding. Let's get some food and some water and let's get the heck out of here because I think we're, we're pretty close. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, let me whip up some stuff here quick. Uh, I really feel like I should heal up. We only have the one... Oh! Wait, it, it looks like it falls to the ground. It doesn't. Oh, this thing just keeps making new first aid kits? Oh, it does. I was going to say, it does say fabricator on it, doesn't it? There it goes. It does it all by itself. So you get med kits periodically, maybe one a day or something. Oh, well, then it definitely behooves you to eat them occasionally when you are when you need them. Let's have a uh, six-ouncer. Six ouncer, six ouncer, and we'll save the big ones for later. And we'll eat it. Oh, no, they're rotten already? Decomposing. Uh, oh, dear. How's oh, this guy? Old. He's still okay. Let's eat that guy. Man, they go bad fast. Gary's okay. 
I'm not that hungry, but we're gonna eat Gary. Because I need it right now, and I don't want him to waste. Alright, uh, we got a new blueprint. Let's find it real quick, and then let's get out of here. We gotta get away from this ship before it blows up. It's a power cell. High capacity mobile power source. I'm guessing we can put that in um, some of our tools. Okay, yeah, let's, uh, let's boogie. Alright, let's go. <laughs> let's get out of here. Ten kilometers away from the Aurora before she blows. Which, oh, let's go this way, is a really, really long way, and I don't think we're ever going to make it. A kilometer is like um, a little more than half a mile, right? But that means like maybe seven, six or seven miles away from the Aurora? That's not possible. Well, I don't even think we're a single mile away from the Aurora right now. Yeah, no, not even. Not even. We're, we're maybe a quarter of a mile away, so this is impossible. So maybe if we just go underwater and hide in a cave, we may not feel the effects of it. Um, yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. Let's go down here. Oh, look at this. Whoa, what is that? Holy smokes, it's coming up. Ah. Oh, stuff's popping up. Oh, grab it. What was that? Dude, did you just come out of that hole? Hi. Did you just come out of that hole? This looks scary down there. What's your name, little fella? Oh, look at this creature egg. I don't have that one. Oh, and it's blowing again. It's like a geyser of some type or something. I bet there's good stuff down there. We could get... Yep. I know. Let's use this thing. This is supposed to, like, go up. How do you even use it? It's supposed to bring us to the surface really fast. Uh, okay. It seemed like it worked. Maybe. I don't know. Alright, this may not be a very good place to be when that thing blows, but I don't have anywhere else to go. <laughs> I've got nowhere else to go! <laughs> Let's just go scan stuff, I guess. Metal salvage. Yeah, let's scan the metal salvage. Oh! I picked it up. I picked it up instead. Yeah, there's no point for, to try to get away because we're not going to get away. <laughs> there's a trash can we can scan. And we can make a trash can. That's important. We've got to put your garbage somewhere. And we have another grab. No, we don't need that one, right? He's already got that one. Let's grab some food. Just in case we need to eat. We can eat these guys raw, by the way. They don't seem to last very long, even when cooked. All right, here's some scrap metal. Now, this thing has like a five meter range, apparently. Structural analysis. Scattered wreckage. Got it. And, oh boy, let's get away from that guy. He doesn't like me oxygen. in his turf. Yes, oxygen. I need it. I don't see anything else down here we can scan. I guess there's only one, really, one way to find out. Oh, grab the salt. Gotta have the salt. Oh, here's something. Oh, it's, a, it's bacon. It's a fragment of bacon. Gotta get bacon. 50% of the bacon. I want all the bacon. Man, that geyser just keeps blowing over there. I'm a little worried about this thing. Let's go grab some more of these um, seed pod things. I forget what we use them for, but we might as well. 30 seconds. Okay, yep, go. So this thing is reusable, which is nice. It, it does actually bring it to the surface faster, I think. Feels like it. I kind of want to watch this thing blow. It might be kind of cool, you know? I don't think we can get away from it, so maybe we'll just watch. Oh, creeper vine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scan it. I think this scanner can tell us the contamination amount, if there is any contamination. Creep vine. I'll check this databank stuff later. Not gonna do it now, but do it later. Oh yeah, we just pick these with our hands. You don't have to slice them. Inventory is full. Oh, right. Yep. Holy, what are you? Ow! Oh, get off me, you little creep. Oh, he's biting me. Oh, you nasty little... What is that thing? I thought it was a face hugger or something. It was a wrist hugger. Grab me right by the wrist. Did I... Was I hitting it with the knife? I couldn't really tell. I don't know if that was what I was supposed to do. Didn't do a lot of damage, but he certainly freaked me out. I wonder what else he does. 
Did you lay an egg inside me or something? <laughs> Who? Oh, there's another one now. You. I'll pick you right up and eat you. Oh, you want some? Come for it. Are you the guy that bit me? You did now. Huh. How do you like them apples? I'm on top of the food chain, you ugly little worm. Yeah. <sighs> Okay, I got my frustrations out on that guy. I think I think we win. I think we won that battle. The war's not over, though. <laughs> I'm certain we're going to run into more of those little guys. <laughs> All right, let's put the creature egg inside the egg storage. Uh, right there. And let's go whip up some materials with these raw resources. Oh, what's up? Oh, a beacon. There's a new recipe. Navigation aid maintains and broadcasts its position. Configurable label. Well, that could come in handy when we have to go off and do some exploring. That'll be fun. Uh, silicone rubber. We don't need any of that. Fiber mesh. Let's make some more fiber mesh. And I think we wanted some of this lubricant, which we haven't had not made. It's going to be useful lubricant in. Is essential in construction of vehicles and power plants. You beat me to it, lady. That's exactly what I was going to say. Okay, we do have some new recipes here, and I'm going to go through those off camera. I'm not going to do it right now, but um, I'll do it off camera and come up with a plan for the next episode to figure out what we want to do, what we want to make. Um, I would like to get some kind of a vehicle, at least that little sea glide thing, before we head out and do some exploring f further away from the pod. And I wonder if we should be doing that right now. It's the beacon. That's kind of cool. Yeah, there's no seagull. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, let's watch. Emergency. A quantum detonation has occurred in Yay. the Earth's drive core. Okay. The reactor will reach a supercritical state in T minus 10. Oh. Nine, All right. Well, let me get eight, a beverage. 7. Let's have a six, uh, six ounce. Yeah. Four, there it comes. Three, Blueprint acquired radiation suit. Oh, let's spark it up. Oh, fireworks. Whee. Oh, that was fantastic. I, I feel fine. Hold on. Self-scan. Oh. Is it supposed to make that noise? Uh. Okay. That was great. That wasn't so bad. Let me go get my torch since I tossed it in the water. <laughs> I think I lost the flare. I didn't mean to throw it. I wanted to wave it around uh, in celebration of the fireworks. You know what I'm saying? Uh, oh, well. I can make another one. Actually, I think I have one left anyway, but I, we can make more too. Can I scan this guy? I'm sure we can. Whoa, easy, buddy. Wait a minute. I just want to scan you. This won't hurt. Just sit still, would you? Hold on. I'm almost done. Dude. All right, good. He's out of juice. Oh, no, he's not. Not out of juice. All right. Well, we got him. We got him scanned. Let's get back to the pod. I think time's up for this episode. I dropped my water bottle, didn't I? <laughs> yes, I did. Oh, there it is. I hit the wrong button. It's left click to eat. Okay. Right click to drop. Sure it is. Let's have a drink. Let's uh, let's cook up a couple of boomerangs, and then we're gonna call it a day. I think this episode is long enough. Oh man, these are rotten. Oh look, radiation suit. Oh, we can make that fiber mesh and lead. We got all of that. Now, why did it give me the recipe after the aurora exploded? You know what I'm saying? It would have been handy to have that before the darn ship exploded and all the fallout hit me. So, two fiber mesh, two lead. Let's whip up this suit. So exciting. Oh, man, it's tiny. Is that going to fit? Hope it stretches. Oh, came in multiple pieces. <laughs> Gloves and bodysuit. Fantastic. Lead line suit providing insulation from radiation. Radiation gloves does the same thing. And you know what this means, don't you? Uh, yeah, we can go over to the Aurora now and explore it safely. I think, anyway. Oh, this has power. Put it down. Put it down. Save that for later. We're going to need it probably to explore that ship. 
All right. With that, my friends, we're going to call it quits. Hope you enjoyed this episode, and we'll see you next time. And like I said, I'm going to go through my recipes and try to figure out what to do for the next episode. It looks like we can uh, we can make a repair tool and fix some of this stuff up in here. Oh, let's grab another first aid kit. That way another one will be being fabricated while we're uh, doing nothing here. So, yeah, we'll see you in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day. Bye-bye.